I've never quite understood Apple peripherals. For one thing, they're very expensive and they don't seem to offer a lot. And now I've had a chance to use one for about three weeks and I'm really excited to look at it from a gamer's perspective. So in a couple of words, I have to say it's not that bad, but there's one huge fault. Let's just have a quick rundown of the actual physical build quality of this keyboard. It feels fairly nice. It's got an aluminium top. The keys are like a soft rubbery plastic, um, which have a very shallow key travel. So it means that it's very easy to actually register a keystroke on it. On the back though, which I do really like, it does have a USB hub in it. So it's got two USB ports on either side, which is really nice. Uh, so it means that you can kind of have things going off on various sides. And that bar actually gives the keyboard a little bit of a raise off the table. Although it is still very flat on the table, it doesn't give you much um, it doesn't, doesn't give you much elevation, but the thing is, it's a very natural position for you to type in and for you to use the keyboard. So it's very bland, but it's fairly well thought out. If you need any media keys, it does have the kind of like alt and then the F keys for like pause, louder, softer, and then next track and so on. One of my biggest problems with it is that it doesn't have a backlight, which Come on, you could have had like a, a, a very not bright white backlight on this keyboard and it would have been really nice because it makes it difficult to see the keys at night. I mean, I don't need to explain to you why a keyboard needs, needs backlight. Now, the obvious question is what's this thing like to game with? Now, just a quick background of me as a gamer. I play a lot of Counter-Strike GO lately and I've been playing a lot of Dota 2. Now, I'm pretty bad at Counter-Strike GO, so I wouldn't really go off my opinion of Counter-Strike GO-based performance that much. But from a noob's perspective, this keyboard actually works really well for Counter-Strike GO because Honestly, in my opinion, a keyboard isn't the most important peripheral when it comes to Counter-Strike. I think a headset and a mouse is much more important than the keyboard. And because of how this keyboard is laying out, it means that the kind of standard gamer grip, when you put that down on the keyboard, everything is exactly where it needs to be. The shift key is where it needs to be. The space is where it needs to be. Everything just falls where you want it to. And honestly, because it has such a shallow actuation point on the, on the keystrokes, it means that it's really easy to game on because you don't have to work hard on keys and stuff. Not that you really have to do that on a mechanical keyboard, but it is quite nice. And when it comes to like input rate, I haven't actually felt a delay from, from keystroke to actual action on screen. But again, I'm not a professional gamer. I can't comment too much on that, but it is a wired keyboard. So why would it not perform well? The big deal breaker for me with this keyboard comes with Dota though. Now, if you play Dota, you know that you have spell keys bound to the top kind of QA, like these kind of the, the, the letter keys on this side, and you need to use Alt a lot. And that's the big problem with this keyboard because on a normal keyboard, Alt is here right next to the keyboard, right next to the space button. So when you reach for Alt, you hit the command button. Now, I don't know what a command button does on an Apple keyboard, but on this keyboard, if you plug it into a Windows device, it is the Windows key. So it means that it throws you out of the game. And the alt is over here. And I have died so many times in Dota matches because I tried to like signal something, go for the alt, press the Windows key, throws me out of the game, and they murder the crap out of me. And it's also more, it's not just about learning the new position. This alt key is now further under your hand. So it becomes really difficult. It's like an actual reach. So it's not like with Counter-Strike Go where everything's where it needs to be. There's like a reach involved to get to a very used key for the game. So if you're playing something like an MMO that needs, uh, that needs macro keys or that needs the alt key a lot, you're gonna die a lot using this keyboard. Now, in conclusion, this isn't the worst keyboard ever. I don't mind it. It looks quite nice and the keystrokes are okay. Honestly, if you have one lying around and you need to use it for gaming, it's not gonna kill you. Uh, but there are some glaring flaws with it. Like it doesn't have a backlight in it. What kind of keyboard doesn't have a backlight in it? Like I know this was brought out a, wh a while ago. Apple has been making these for a long time, but really Apple, that's like a minimum requirement. And the placement of the alt key is sacrilegious. Like I really don't know what they were thinking with that, but it is still better than a Japanese layout keyboard. I can tell you that. Those are the worst things ever. Anyway, if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the video to the channel, sorry, for more videos like this one. Uh, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter because there are lots of updates around the channel there. And yes, 
See you in the next video. Bye-bye.